Alright. So now problem four is finding unknown matrix values. And so before we go into that, if I had x plus 2 equals 3 plus 2, what is x? x equals 3, right? Because if these are the same, then those have to be the same, right? So x is 3. Or if you had a fraction, if the denominators are the same, then that means the numerators are the same. So x is 1, right? So if I set one matrix equal to another matrix, then all of the corresponding elements must be equal. For example, if I put 9 here, and it's equal to another matrix, guess what needs to be here? 9, right? Otherwise that would make no sense. If that were 8, how could 9 be equal to 8? Now, where this gets tricky, is they're going to throw in algebra. So what if this was 3x plus 1 and over here they put a 16 and then they said find x. That's easy. x is 3 times what plus 1 is 16. Well, let's, let's do the math. So let's go ahead and fill in the rest. So we have 2y minus 1. It would be 5. It would be five. <coughs> and what they're going to put on here is they'll say find the value of each variable. In other words, in this example, we have the variable x, we have the variable y to find the value. Value would mean a number. Okay? So 9 equal 9, that is not a variable. But we do know that 3x plus 1 equals 16. One of you did that in your head. You said that's 5, right? I'm okay with you doing that kind of stuff in your head. You minus 1 for both sides. divide by 3, x is 5, right? So you found one value for a variable x, and I get to find y. What do we know about y? We know that 2y minus 1 close corresponding elements equals negative 5 do the algebra, add one to both sides. Divide by two, y is negative two. So the question was, find the value of each variable. There were only two variables. I have a value for both variables. Right? How about, I do it one. y negative 4 2a plus 6 2 8 1 2a plus 12 so this time I have this matrix minus this matrix equals this matrix so it may be a wise idea to, to combine these two matrices into one and then I have one matrix equals one matrix. So if I combine these two matrices, this would be x minus 10. Right? For that element. And then this one would be negative 3 minus negative 4. <coughs> What's negative 3 minus negative 4? 
two negatives make a plus. So it's negative three plus four, one. Which, good, right? And then what's three y minus y? You have three y's and you take one away, you have two y's. And then zero minus the quantity two a plus six would change the two a and the six to a minus. You have to distribute that minus. Okay. Now we have a matrix equal to a matrix. So I know that, what do I know about x? I know that x minus 10 equals, equals 2. Well, that's easy, that would mean x is 12, right? For y, what do I know about y? 2y equals 8, so divide by 2, y is 4, right? And what do I know about a? I know that negative 2a minus 6 equals 2a plus 12, right? From there, you may remember from Algebra 1, you can add 2a, you can add 6, you can minus 2a, you can minus 12, your choice. I'm actually going to add 2a because I like to keep my variables positive. Does that make sense? So I'm going to add 2a. So those cross off, and you get negative 6, 2a plus 2a is 4a, plus 12. This is linear, so I need to get my constants together, so now I'm going to minus 12. And negative 6 minus 12 is negative 18. All right? Divide by 4. A equals negative 18 over 4, G equals negative 9 over 2, or 4.5. Right. You can leave it as negative 9 over 2, you can change it to negative 4.5, either are okay. So yes, you can get decimals, okay? Just to make sure you get this. So over here it's a simple one. You have this matrix equal to this matrix. I want you to find the value of x and y, okay? 